You won't believe these animal mutations aren't photoshopped. Mother Nature clearly had some interesting plans for these creatures. Blue lobster. Many lobsters have a bluish tint, but only one in two million lobsters have this magnificent hue. Chimera cats. Venus took the internet by storm as the cat whose face was evenly split down the middle. Chimeras, or single organisms containing two different types of DNA, are actually kind of common in cats, but it's really her one blue eye that's unusual. Most cats have to be mostly white or Siamese to have blue eyes. White Gorilla Snowflake is the only instance of an albino gorilla ever found. He lived from 1966 to 2003 in the Barcelona Zoo. He was euthanized after being diagnosed with a skin cancer most likely related to his albinism. Piebald Python Piebaldism is a genetic disorder that produces effects similar to albinism or a lack of pigment in the skin or eyes. However, animals affected by piebaldism don't have the vision problems of albinos. Vitiligo. Vitiligo occurs in both people and other animals, causing patches of skin to lose their pigment. Some cases look simply like white spots, while others are more pronounced, such as this dog. Frank and Louie, the two-faced cat. Janus cats, so named for the Roman god with two faces, usually live only a few days. Frank and Louie, however, lived a pretty normal life, making it to the age of 15 before passing away on December 4th, 2014. They each had their own mouth and nose, but shared one of their eyes and had one brain. Only one of the faces ate. Brown Panda why this particular colony of pandas is brown is not clear, but scientists think that their coloring could be due to a genetic mutation plus their particular diet. They live in the Kinlig Mountains. White Lions White lions are not true albinos. Rather, both parents carried a recessive color inhibitor gene. In 2012, five cubs were born this way, and you can see them in the Yalta Zoo in the Ukraine. Cerberus frog. A student discovered a three-headed frog in the United Kingdom in 2004. While the school captured the frog, it later escaped, so not a lot about this strange mutation is known, except that its eyes and legs seemed to work normally. Squittens. Despite the name, squittens are not actually a cross between squirrels and cats. These cats often resemble squirrels because they have short front paws making them rely on their hind legs for stability. Depending on the severity of their radial hypoplasia, they have to hop, much like kangaroos, or exclusively use their hind legs.